Hi guys, this is the um, first lesson in series of uh, Basil 40 plus plus tutorials. Um, I'm gonna try to be quick so that I not to waste your time. Uh, you can subscribe uh, to see more lessons on this topic. In this first video, I wanna first uh, emphasize why Basil is important. Uh, many C++ developers um, already familiar with CMake might ask, why do we need Basil? Um, I want to say that Bazel is very important for um, for supporting cross-platform languages uh, like Java, uh, C++, Python. Uh, so it's good when you have a huge project that where you use many languages. Uh, so you can just use one build system instead of uh, mixing. Um, and also, it's uh, it has very good uh, performance for um, big enterprise projects. Uh, there's a lot of firms that use it. Um, and the last one, I guess, is, uh, you know, it's supported by Google. Um, so a lot of uh, open source projects that come out out of Google are, <coughs> they, they use uh, TensorFlow. TensorFlow, for example, uses uh, Bazel. Uh, there are some other uh, Google projects that use Bazel as well. Uh, so I think it's important to know it. Um, okay, so what's, um, <coughs> how Bazel works, right? Uh, if you're familiar with any build system like CMake, it's probably very easy for you to get on board it. Um, so there's a couple of difference. Let's say we have um, this directory, this empty directory, uh, lesson one. Uh, the one file is very important in uh, Bazel, it's called workspace, because you want to say um, this directory is my workspace. Uh, so in order to create a workspace, all you have to do is just create a, this empty file called workspace. That's it. So lesson one is your uh, Bazel workspace now. Now let's say, let's create some projects under our workspace. So let's say we create the folder hello. Now let's go inside of that folder and uh, let's type, let's just uh, print hello world here. Um, include video stream. Now, um, so we have our file, and one other thing we want to do is to create the build rule. Uh, so we, uh, the second important uh, file in the Bazel project is called build, build file, that basically defines how the project is built. Um, here we can create the simple build rule, binary, um, I think that's how it goes, let's see name, name of application, let's say Wowza, and sources. Sources is usually the list of uh, sources, so in our case it's just main CC. Okay, let's see, so we got one rule called CC binary with name Wowza and source files main.cc. Okay, so let's save it and now let's build our project. One of the ways to build it is, uh, I'll show you one the simplest way is let's say we inside a package. Um, so we can just say basil build dot 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 if we're running inside a package itself. Boom. Uh, as you can see, the output is target hello Bowser. Hello is this is our directory, right? So this is this path right here is uh, the path relative uh, from workspace file, the directory from that contains the workspace file, root of our workspace to the to the our target. Our target is Wowza. So one other way to build it is saying like this. If, if let's say you're in a, in a directory containing the workspace file, right? This is our workspace file. From the directory containing work, workspace file, you can just use this naming convention. You can just say path to the project and then the target name. Oh, and uh, of course, basil build. There you go, you build it. And then it also tells you where the binary was generated. So now, by gen by binary generated this directory called Bazel bin. Uh, hello, Wowza. Boom, and we got our hello Bazel. All right, guys, this is the one of the simplest tutorials. Um, for more advanced stuff, uh, look at my other lessons. Um, so please like this video and subscribe for new updates, so you can see the new new lessons. All right, thank you.